Hey, what is going on guys? Root of the Null here, come back at you with some more batch tutorials. I'm gonna get the Windows command line fired up, you should do the same, and uh, we'll take a look at Notepad++ too while we're at it, just in case we need to write a script. Now, uh, in the last tutorial, we were looking at mathematical expressions and uh, using the set command with a dash a tag. Let's open up that help file and actually get a review of that. So, uh, it looks like we can use it right here, set dash a, in an expression, while setting a variable to it, that sort of, that same sort of thing, and we were looking at some of the operators and some of the things that we'd be able to do with that. So, here they all here, um, here they all are, right here, sorry, uh, parentheses, let's see, we have some, uh, uh addition, subtraction, and, uh, look, we do have the modulus operator. Now, if you guys, uh, in the last video, you probably remember me looking at the modulus operator and, and actually, uh, and actually screwing up. <laughs> I made a big no-no right there, and I, I lied to you guys. I, I'm sorry, I, I did lie to you guys, and I told you that Batch did not support the arithmetic, uh, operator of the modulus. So, uh, here I am today trying to show you guys, uh, I was totally wrong. <laughs> uh, this did come to my attention by a viewer. I was very flattered by that, and uh, a little, even a little bit before that, I did realize after that uh, it did have the modulus operator. So uh, let's go ahead and try this. I'm going to type in CLS to clear the screen. Let's see what we're actually doing here. Now remember, we can be using the set command in the dash a, and we're going to need our variable name right here, and I'll call mine mod, and we're going to set it to equal, how about 10, and remember the modulus operator is the percent sign, and I'll use 3. Okay. Now remember the modulus operator is going to be taking a look at what the remainder of that division problem is. So when we're trying to divide 10 by 3, we would get 3 because it gets in there 3 times, but there is a remainder of 1. Because see we have 3, then we have go to 6, and then we go to 9. But then there's, there's, there's still 10, but the difference between 10 and 9 is 1 right here. So we are going to be seeing 1 as the, uh, the value of our variable. So we can go ahead and echo that out echo mod, and now we can see we've got 1 right here. If we did uh, set a mod can be equal 10 divided by 5, send, sorry, uh, 10 modulus 5, it'll give us 0, because, oh, you can even see right here, they return the, uh, the value for us, awesome. Because 10 divided by 5 is going to give us 2, and there isn't a remainder, it's, it's 0. Now that's, that's awesome. But take a look at where we are right now, guys. We're in, we're still inside the Windows command prop. We're in the interpreter. We're in the shell. But we were looking at it in the last video in a script. <laughs> you guys see where I'm getting at here? In a script, we have to do another silly and weird batch technique sort of thing that's going to allow us to be able to use the modulus operator. And it's interpreting that percent sign a little weird, so we kind of escape it just like we did with the escape character sequence. So uh, let's go ahead and try that. We'll switch over to Notepad++. I'll, uh, I'll save a file here over to John Hammond as usual, script.bat, and I'll erase whatever's there. Add echo off. And now we can set that dash a modulus can equal 10, and we'll just use one modulus operator here, and then 5. Now I'll echo out mod, which is our variable here, switch back over. If we dir, we can see our script right there, and here we go, let's run it with script, and we get 10. Now, why is this? You see it right there? First of all, we can give it a little bit more white space, and it's going to tell us missing operator. Now, that's a little weird. That's not what we're, that's not doing what we want. We would expect to have zero, just like we did in the previous example, inside the shell. So remember, we're going to be using two percent signs, though, because we're trying to escape this percent sign, so it'll understand that we're using the modulus operator here. Okay, so let's give it one more. And now we'll run this, and it gets zero, just like we expected it to. How about if we did uh, 10 modulus 3, the way we did in the first example? And there you go. Our remainder is 1. Okay. Now, uh, I'm sorry I, I kind of lied to you guys in the beginning. At first, I really I really didn't realize, and I didn't notice it, especially in the help file. But all this is is more of a moral for you guys. Uh, make sure you read that help file. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I should be doing the same. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to be moving on to more things with the set command real soon. And I'll see you guys in that video. See you later. Bye.